whatever. All right. Um, so uh, we got another try not to laugh from Shane Gillis. Hmm. Okay. Shane Gillis. Yeah, it's from Joker World. Okay. Okay. Well, you ready? Yep. Yep. Let's go. Yep. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Put your hands together for that young bull, Shane Gillis. Where is this at? Hey. I don't have much. Because this is gay. <laughs> you went to Army as a recruited yeah, yeah, yeah. football player. Yeah. You grew up in Pennsylvania. What an amazing story. Yeah, we talked about that. That's funny. For Technically, I do have a pretty fucking sick like resume. Yeah. Because I played, uh, it's D1 football, and then if you join West Point, if you join the Army during okay. uh, active war, you are, te- technically I'm a decorated veteran. That's a medal. That's sick. I quit right away. I quit West Point right away. First month. <laughs> and uh, then, you know, I got SNL. So technically I'm a Division One football player that is a decorated veteran and was cast on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't do one of those things. <laughs> but that is my resume, technically. <laughs> this is Diane Michael Lewis I funk you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your punchlines have to be strong, dude. <laughs> Just such a long build up. Like, it yeah. better be a good. It if really you have a, is. Mediocre, a mediocre joke that we all waited 10 <laughs> minutes for, <laughs> that shit stinks. <laughs> It's that was so a funny weird. joke, but it just was so long that by the end we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So no one, Don't talk no. shit, dude. I know you're about to start talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, what is good from... <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. I'm glad you can't talk no. shit, dude. <laughs> Yo, God's got my back on this one. Hey. <laughs> hey. You know what? I love from a fellow comedian when I'm doing my jokes, hearing their fucking beer open. <laughs> you fucking. I know, my bad, my bad. I went to Catholic school and kids would fucking faint. We had to go to church every week. And right. it was, there was no air conditioning. It was hot as uh, fuck. Yeah. Kids would faint non. And it's Catholic, so you're standing and kneeling, standing. Were you an altar boy? No, I wasn't. I, was. I got out of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was, I, I got caught in third grade drinking the wine. Damn. Yeah. The, Third grade? The priest came in and he's like, what are you doing? He's like, jackpot. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, like a little drunk, buzzed up. I love that. For the people who are listening who can't see this right now, there is a... That gives me... I don't know. Anxiety. Shane, do you want to set this oh up? God, for the people who... Happening? Like, what, what we're looking at right now for the people who can't see? Uh, drunk dude dropped his hat and uh, used, I don't know, used his shitty friend to help him. <laughs> oh, my God. I, no, I don't want to set his it up. <laughs> Is it trying to <laughs> holding him by an one arm and one leg, dangling yeah. him in onto the tracks, where head first, where he is straining to reach his honestly hideous hat. Yeah, and it's then it's such an ugly hat. Pulls him sideways. If a train were coming, his friend would panic, try to pull him back instead of to the side, and he would fucking die. What well, would it yeah. take? Well, Shane, what would it take for you to? Would it, would it be It'd a be phone? Tough. Would it be, be top? No, fuck no, phone, absolutely not. Mm-mm. No, it'd have to be like a fucking human. Yeah, it would have to be a human. It'd have to be a white human. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the Ciro Gan, Francis and Ganu fight with Rogan, so I was front. It was just me to the cage. I was sitting in front of the cage, and it's terrifying, bro. It's so scary, especially with you the see those dudes get in there. Beast. You're like every, and it's funny because you could see my face the whole event so everybody was texting me like yo relax like, the whole fight I was like, <laughs> like just a, le- a checked leg kick I was like <laughs> was just, just not enjoying it dude, at all just like, it was terrifying no but the noise is the noise is disgusting so scary when you hear someone get punched in the chest in the belly 
It's it's disgusting. When you hear Shane Gillis go, stop! Yeah, I'm like, hey! No, 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 run, 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 get out. You don't need this. Go. You're still young. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, what do you do in the shadows, you fucking vampire? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're 26. So do you put a sock on the door to let your mom know you're jerking off, or what? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Do you really? No, I was just trying to go along with what you said. <laughs> what is it like? You have, you, ever, have you ever gotten caught masturbating at home? Yes, I have. What was that like? Can you, can you describe to us what that moment was like? Did you like? turn into a bat? <laughs> <laughs> Escape the room? <laughs> Count Wackula? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm fired up. <laughs> It was a hurricane. It was yeah. Hurricane Barry. It, it was crazy. I got to just paint the picture of what it... Because Tommy, Tommy Pope and I, past guests on the show, were just kind of like, you know, bullshitting. You got the guys on the couch. We're having a good time. We knew Shane was going to come in late, but we had no idea what's happening in the outside world. And Shane walks in dripping, like, like uh, covered in water <laughs> as if he just got out of it a bath. A, as if I was underwater. Like a dad that just lost his family. Like truly that upset, head down, and it, I'm just looking through oh, the man. wall. It's the funniest fucking image I've ever seen in my life. I went from... Yeah, never mind. Wet, sad, <laughs> yeah, wet, sad Shane has got to be one of the funniest <laughs> visions. It's tough, man. I got to say, your hair fell it right into place, though. It did look nice. Yeah. I was, that's because I was fucking doing that when I walked in, and then I looked in the, in the monitor, and I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I should actually do my hair once before I lose it next week. <laughs> but Jesus that's the thing. Christ. Post-rain hair might be the greatest your hair could ever be. Yeah, it's when you very got, difficult my to recreate. My hair is thinning. When my hair gets wet, it's fucking insanely. Like, you can just, it's like bald. It's oh, see, shit. scalp? Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm, if I'm in a pool, I look like I'm, like, 58. <laughs> it's Because it sops crazy. down to that part of yeah, it. Yeah, dude. yeah, Oh, fuck. <laughs> that sucks when it all just cuts, like, it, it just clumps together just, and you yeah. see the top of your scalp. You're like, oh, like, this is all this over. is like a loose leaf on top of a hole. That's what your hair is. <laughs> it's, like it's like a trick. Like, I walk, like, if I'm at the pool... I look like just like a fat 12-year-old walking around. Good. And then if I jump in and like come out of the water, it's like, Jesus Christ. It's like What's 75. That water? Yeah. The chlorine is aging this, people 50 yeah, this, years. This pool in Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl. I'd like to thank Ari and his people for this beautiful weather. Thank you. Ari used to host the show, This Is Not Happening, a show named after his comedy career. <laughs> Ari is edgy and shocking, which is a really cool thing for a 50-year-old guy to be. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Touch with Tech. ball is preposterous. For kids? Yes. Crazy. It's outrageous. I would, I would honestly come out and flog. If I saw a bunch of kids playing touch, I'd come out and yeah. fuck him. Like, say, hey, start hitting. Get the fuck out of here. Lower Start your head. Hitting. Lower your shoulder. Yeah, lower, lower, yeah, not your head. Lower your shoulder. Then my one friend, Mike Connolly, got hit puberty. <sighs> he was not allowed to play anymore. We like, <laughs> started secretly playing tackle football. We <laughs> started secretly playing football without him. And occasionally we'd be like, hey, can I come over? And we'd be like, dude, get out of here. Yeah, no way. That was, was sick. so good. Dude, peeping out dude's armpit hair in the pool was always just devastating. And making fun of him being like, dude, what do you, you come? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> see, I wasn't equipped with any of that. I would see them and be like, <sighs> we made fun of him for coming. Where the fuck is my hair? Why oh, really? can't I come? Dude, I was trying to come way of before. Of course, but it was, he was the first one. So we were like, <laughs> even though we were all jealous that he could come. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, that's funny. I didn't think about that playbook. I was just kind of like, I just t I turned it in. That's, that's been my playbook since day one. <laughs> it's a sick move. Dude. Once I realized I wasn't good at basketball, I was like, basketball is so fucking gay. <laughs> I would like do layup lines at tryouts, just throw it against the backboard, be like, this shit sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. The second I realized I'm not really good at something, I'm like, dude, anyone who does that is fucking gay for sure. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. That's such a sick movie. Yeah, dancing? What am I a fucking homo? I'm not gonna dance or sing. And then someone's like, "You're a good singer." And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah, I guess that's yeah, kind of I a mean, cool." Maybe singing is fucking sick. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish we had a recording of an Australian dude getting upset with farts. Yeah. You know I, I mean? didn't know it. He's like, know oh, could you please like stop <laughs> <laughs> passing gas at my cubicle? <laughs> like, That's actually a pretty good Like, any, anybody that gets mad about a fart is a pussy. <laughs> unless it's a chick. And it's like, I, there was one time at football camp. That's a huge exclusion. I farted. <laughs> And my roommate, because you, you was at a, like a college dorm, and my roommate, who I had no idea who he was, I farted like very loudly. <laughs> it was an offensive lineman camp. It was all big motherfuckers. <laughs> I farted extremely loud, and he was like, we don't do that here. Wow. Oh, no. Like, all right. All right, guys. I'm, I'm out. I'm switching rooms. Unoffensive yeah. lineman. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Wow. He's oh. an offended lineman. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Excuse me. Oh. Could you please stop? Yeah, I'm going to go to the FA Cup final. I've got my ticket. He's going to hate this because I've done nothing but talk. So even while I'm sat here talking to you, we've been very excited to get on. Most of my brain at the minute is singing Liverpool songs. I can't <laughs> turn it off. We're trying to win. You guys fucking love singing. Oh, 100%. The British, all you guys do is you get fucked up. And no, sing, sing, no singing at the, at the, in the NFL. No. Apart from the Chiefs fan being borderline racist. Yeah. <laughs> We've not been told to stop. <laughs> We're not going to stop. Nah. <laughs> We're having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah like no singing. You guys love singing. You guys sing outside of football. Yeah. Just in the bar. Everybody in the pub, yeah. Singing. On the way. On the coach down. On the plane. So me and Finn oh. went over to Spain this week when we it's played so for the Because look, it is gay. <laughs> singing with your boys is gay but I'm just jealous I wish we sang dude it's so fun anytime you guys are like, I've been to a couple of, I've been to a bunch of soccer games and every time everyone's singing I'm like this is so cool dude like I was at a Tottenham they all started singing and I was like this is incredible oh see now I really want to get you a ticket in our end for the FA dude. Cup final they're not singing and show teach you tunes the songs. though what are they singing I, don't, I can't understand they're one. not like Oklahoma like if, that, <laughs> yeah. if the Tottenham fans started singing that I'd be like this is a little camp but it's no like no matter what they're singing it's oh come on they're it, singing no but Liverpool sing like ABBA songs with different words, so it probably is a little bit come from. So most up, most football songs are a parody yeah. of a, an original song. So the big Liverpool song at the minute, uh, the newest one, <laughs> is uh, how have we got it? A parody of the Beatles' "I Feel Fine." Mm. So Jürgen Jürgen said to me, "You know, we'll win the Premier League." You know, he said so. I'm in love with him. That is a bit gay. (laughs) (laughs) And I fuck man. I'm in love with him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, they they do sing a lot, you know, across the pond. Yeah, in bars, I've I've seen that in movies. Oh, yeah. They like to sing in bars. Yeah, man. (laughs) Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? The alcohol moves us in uh, different ways. You know? Yeah. But yeah, man, she ain't give us. <clears throat> what do you say about Ari? <laughs> he said, you're, you're 50 years old and... <laughs> it's good to be... What do you, I forgot what he said. He said, shocking and... Um, yeah. <laughs> something at 50. It's good to be there, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Hey, yeah, ours the same. Yeah, yeah. What do you say about his comment that your comedy would never yeah, something wouldn't take off? But yeah, that's funny, man. Yeah. Like I said, uh, he was. Oh, I wouldn't get offended by a fart, especially if I'm at a fucking football camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this nigga roommate. Yeah, you mad about dudes like that? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, any big you know, all types of things. You're a lineman. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. Can't yeah. be farting, not even knowing it. It's a lot in, a lot out. Yeah. For us, a lot of gas for the big boys. Yeah. 